Hello everyone, it's Mel, and welcome back to more Baldur's Gate. So, last time... I found pirate treasure and explored a lighthouse area, and this time we're going to head north to that area up by Baragost. Baragost, Baragost, whatever. I'm not planning on this to be a long recording, but um, the last couple times I said that I ended up recording for 45 minutes, so yeah, I know. We're going here. I will probably yep guests. Where we're going to murder it? And we're gonna have to wait here until Rel can move, aren't we? You must gather your yep. <sighs> Do I have any anti-hold spells? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Uh, what do you have? I mean, I can't rest anyway, so. Okay, okay, fine. Forth. Shut up. Also, let's give those cheetah boots to someone else who I can't do that right now because. <sighs> I'm waiting for Rel to get unheld. Freaking hold spells. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Oh. Come. Thank you. That was irritating. At least we were really close to here. I shall commit to the task. There's a wolf. Flaming, or, or possibly frosty. Death. There's a dead wolf. What you want? Roger. I shall collapse from exhaustion before I fall on the battlefield. It's a shame my line of work doesn't allow for leisurely chats, but it's an important job. Must run the message through rain or shine or gibberling. Gibberling? That just reminds me of gibbering mouthers. Am grows weary of invasion accusations and is demanding restitution from the Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate. This will not sit well indeed. Make way! Roger, roger! However... I am going to attempt to rest before we start, like, passing out from exhaustion. And why is my... Oh, because I have Acrobat in the background doing something. That's right. Um, okay, so I start around the middle of that map from where I came in. Alrighty. I'm so used to, like, entering from the left or the right side that... I don't entirely know what to expect when I start in the center of a map. Right, I wanted to give those shoes to someone else. He has Talos' gift, which I will throw on Rel. And you will get those. Because Rel already moves pretty fast. And this means more of the front line will be there when I run face first into problems. And also that he can move faster to run and heal us when we make poor life choices, which is always because we're an adventuring party. Like there, there's a skeleton. There are several skeletons, actually. Will cut you down the side. Okay, slip spell didn't really work, but that's okay. Oh, I thought I heard that chunky noise and I thought it was dead. And there we go. Corpses. Well, I mean, they were corpses before, but now they're re-corpses. 
I guess you could call them re-dead, except they're not, you know, latching onto my back and traumatizing me. along up here. Honestly, I might know. I want I want um Emma Wen to keep those silent boots she has on. There's a wolf. Keep flaming or uh, possibly frosty. Death. The thank you. What? You've saved me. Um, I won't say this directly. Uh, are you a talking chicken? I certainly hope you're jesting with me. I indeed am no ordinary talking chicken, and I am in need of your help. Uh, what happened? Thank the mother of all magic. Mayhaps I might now, and I now might now I might end this nightmare. I am Melacampa Baragost, a mage adept in the mystical arts. A miss, uh. Miss Red incantation seems to be the source of my troubling form. It has been over a month since I uttered a polymorph spell, and I simply cannot return to my normal form. Is there anyone who can help you? I don't know crap. Last at all. Well, there's nothing else I can do except for my most hated option. There's a tower directly to the west of Baragost, about which can be found the mage... Valentir. I am his apprentice. I am certain he will aid me. Then to his abode we shall go. I will escort you. Thank you. It's located just to the west of Baragost. He lives in a large manor there. I'll just nestle in your pack till we get there. I haven't... Wait, wait. Come on. Oh my gosh. I do have him in my inventory. That is hilarious. If he was a pen, I would be getting free eggs out of him. I'm a terrible person. Holy crap. <laughs> it's like, eh, I'll help you, but I kind of wish I could get free eggs out of you. Though, we should help him as soon as possible, honestly. So let's see if I can hit up this tower. Directly to the west of Baragost. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend Life yourself. Life is so hollow. Our quest is vain. I look forward to your Well, that's a problem solved. I understand. So if I get up to Baragost... Ow. Also, Today hey, I can sell, um... I can sell some bandit scalps. That's handy. Officer, bye! Wow. Can I assist you? My voice kind of went like really, um. Yeah. Is that all I got? Yeah. No, I can't. S I'm not going to s try and sell the chicken. I'm helping the chicken. Even though the chicken looks like a delicious dinner, I'm going to sell. I'm going to help the chicken. Silune guides my hand. Uh, we're going to hit up the smithy really quickly because I do want to swap over my sling users to darts. Which I mean means we're going to be buying a pile of darts. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more. Oh, right, right, right. I have to, um... Let's do a little bit of adjustment here because you are carrying way, way too much crap. And I have to see how many, um, 
darts can or fit in a pile. Your character, so probably um, 80, 80 darts. I mean, I'm still gonna keep like the slings I and sling stones. You wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. But okay, good. I can buy a whole bunch of those arrows. That'll be handy. Um, hmm. darts, darts. I you've got to have darts on you, buddy. There they are. Ooh, dart plus ones. Two, Actually, you know what I'm going to do? There. Let's um, pass some of these out. Right near his inventory is full of spells! Is full. But you're gonna stick with that right now. I need to give him a stack of darts. Oh, he can't use them. Fine. Okay, Rel's inventory is full. can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Um, okay. Anything I want to sell, that can be sold. Don't sell the berserking... I, I really kind of want to play with the berserking sword, because I'm a terrible person. Oh, right, and I need to identify those darts. <sighs> Casting spells isn't as easy as I make it look. I'm tired. Um, is that the only unidentified thing? Yes. Ooh, darts of wounding. Those look handy. Your wish? Alright, let's head over to... I shall commit to the task. And in... Certainly, I shall collapse from exhaustion before I fall on the battlefield. And then we're going to head out west of Baragost. That was a full day's work. Let's I shall commit get to our um, rested. Oh, I should act also, you know, just check out this corner. Because it's there and it's full of fog of war and I don't want it to be. And then we will look directly west for that tower. Huh. 
that person. Hello. Alright, let's head west. High hedge. Okay. I understand. High hedge sounds like the name of a key then. Hail. It is not often that I come across strangers in this part of the world. What takes you out this far from civilization? We're adventurers. We smite evil. A strange coincidence. I have a quest similar to your own. I've been hunting the bandits in the region for the past few months. Perhaps if we work together we would fare better. What say you to that? Uh, we'll follow wherever you take us. I hope we work well together. I'm still ditching him. Yes? Because I'm doing a thing here and... Okay, Knowles. I have sleep spell for that. <laughs> You're a queer. F I'm gone. Uh huh. You need something. What do you need? I am prepared. Come on, Zen. Prove your worth. I look forward to your instruction. I understand. Aw, bears! They're cute. They're hostile. Or that one's hostile. I will show you justice! Alright, Zan, put the bears to go, sleep. Go, go, go. Uh, possibly frosty. Ooh, skeleton head. I am prepared. I shall do it to the task. Okay. I don't know what I could use these for, what are you but the fact that they're dropping I look forward to I tells me that they could actually be of great use. Let's go back up towards that house now. Hello, house. I understand. I be Thalantir, a mighty mage of Baragoth. I don't have much patience for strangers on my property. Do us both a favor and move along. Unless, of course, you have magic for sale. From the looks of you, you couldn't afford the items I have for sale. Um... Zant? Why do I live in such a pissant town? <laughs> I sincerely hope you have some reason for bothering me. I've already stated that I wish you to leave. Uh, well, it's rather amusing, actually. You see, I happen to res rescue this um, talking chicken. Chickens do not talk, so quite obviously it's a polymorphed being of some kind. Spells such as that wear off in time or can be dispelled. It is a simple matter and not one worth the waste of my day. Keep moving. I am quite aware that chickens can't talk. Thank you. 
yes, this is a transformed man, but it also is a man who claims he's your apprentice. Apprentice? I have had no apprentice. I teach no one about what I... Wait, Melicamp? Melicamp, is that you? Uh, yes, Master Valentier. It, it is I. I am no master to you, and you are no apprentice. What gall you have to expect help from me? He's not your student, but you do know of him, do you not? A student wishes to learn, while this fool wishes to only have knowledge. I will tutor no one who does not understand the ramifications of what I have to teach. Not getting the quick gratification he wished he instead chose to steal from me. Oh. Oh, friendo. You speak so much, but show so little. I only wish to learn a fraction of the power you possess. It has taken me some fifty-odd years of my life to gain the power I wield, and the will not to use it. You are but a baby in comparison. Frankly, I'm surprised you changed into such an old chicken. How did you manage that, by the by? You were muddling the simplest cantrip when I last observed you. I have progressed much since then, and I borrowed a few items to speed the process. As I thought. Well, it's obvious you can steal my tools, but not my understanding of them. Hold still while I dispel this foolish facade. Can't very well get my property back while it's polymorphed into... Wait a minute. I did not possess any items that would allow the casting of that enchantment. Wait. Oh, dear. Melicamp, listen very carefully. What did you take? Nothing too valuable, I swear. Just some components, a few scrolls, a beat-up pair of bracers, a blank spell book, some parchment. A, a pair of... Oh no, you little fool! The bracers in my locked and trapped safe. I certainly hope you can develop a taste for chicken feed because you're going to be stuck the way you are for a very long time. I know I stole from you, but you can't leave me like this. Please, Master Thalantir. Please. It's not a matter of whether I wish to help or not. Simply, I do not have the power to undo what you have done. What sort of item could cause such a problem for even a mage like yourself? The magic that so many revere today was not always the same as it is now. Any adventurer worth his salt should know this, and know that not every bauble they wring from a dungeon will be helpful. The, bracer, the bracers in question were a vain little reminder of... Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Suffice to say that I have no idea what their intended function was, and I was in no position to ask their former owner. Years have passed since my release, and the spoils of that netheril run, ruin remain as enigmatic as ever. They resist even the strongest divination, and attempts to dispel result only in explosive consequences. Some, some things should just stay buried. And is there nothing that can be done? I am willing to help. If you're so willing, then I will do what must be done. We will need a component that I do not have on hand, and it will be your job to get it. I will require the head of an undead creature, and a simple skeleton skull will do. Bring it back here, and I will try to bend a few magical rules to reincarnate this foolish boy. Reincarnate? But does that spell not require the re re recipient to be dead? There must be a dead element. Yes, that's what the skull is for. I cannot fully explain what I am to try, but it is something of a reversal on the reincarnation scheme. The age of the enchantment that changed you may allow for a loophole in the laws of magic. Of course, it may just kill us both in the casting. Such is life. Off you go to some dungeon or another. Return with the skull. Go. Well, I managed to actually grab some of these. Why do I live in such a pissant town? Hello again, my young adventurers. I see that you have the needed component. Well, shall we see if our young man regains his life, or if he'll eventually be someone's fest hall dinner? Hey! Oh. And that, as they said, is that. I fear our young friend did not survive the casting, and I feel a touch weary myself. Such are the ways of magic, unpredictable at the best of times. Do not feel responsible for his death. There was little more we could have done. His body simply couldn't withstand the change once again. A lesson, I suppose, for the rest of us. Take good care to treat 
found items with respect. If you will excuse me, I have some work to do. I imagine you have a dungeon to storm somewhere. I wish you intelligence, because luck runs out. Why do I live in such a pissant town? Um, rumors talk of a powerful mage. I'd like to speak with you. Rumors? Bah, there's no mage here that wishes to speak to, to speak or be spoken of. Unless, of course, if you have magic that you wish to sell. We're interested in selling or even buying magical items. What do you have? <gasps> oh my god. that I want. Oh. Gonna buy one of you. One of you. One of you. That. 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 Oh, full of full up. Okay, right magic. Right magic. Right. Right. Write that. Oh my gosh, I found... Oh my gosh, a potion case. Oh my god. Just... And it just weighs 20 pounds. Like, that's actually going to end up saving me a lot of weight in the long run. And I'm not even going to apologize for taking the time to, like, you know, sort all this crap. Because, oh my god, that's a potion case. Like... Now all I need is like a spell, a scroll case, and then I'll really be in business. Okay, her inventory's full, that's fine. Oh my gosh, it's a potion case. Okay, is that all the pots? No, it's not. Now watch me proceed to forget like I have 90% of these. But that's okay because like they all stack and it's beautiful and wonderful and I love it. <laughs> I think I am going to just sell a lot of these scrolls. Why do I live in such a pissant town? I wish I could sell the cursed scrolls. But they're just going to eat up space in my inventory, it looks like. Uh, what can you learn? You can learn luck. And that. And... That 
one can go. That one can go. No, I don't want to sell that one. That one, that one. Yeah, we're going to be doing a, we're doing a little micromanaging here. But you have to agree this is basically worth it. Oh. Huh. Okay, so I guess I you can only uh, wrote, you can only learn so many spells. Why do I live in such a pissant town? Well, that's mildly irritating. Um, that, that, that. Okay, let's check him. That, that. That. Hmm. Both of my mages are neutral. I sell that I'll sell both of those I'm gonna sell all those that. I want that so much. I can't afford it because I spent all my money on other no, things, which is fine. Also, I really like how pretty the floor so is in here. That's my hand. Okay. So that my hand. was profitable. Hello, pal. Uh, whoa, slow down. I'm trying to plan the grandest of heists here. With all your tromping about, I can't hear a word I'm thinking. Of course you can't hear a word you're thinking. You have to say it out loud first. Okay, okay, here's the plan. There's a big-time mage living just over that rise. Magic items scattered all over the place. I'm betting. Trouble is, he's got these two hideous flesh monsters guarding him and no shadows where I can lurk. Brute force is useless against the monsters. Everything is useless. There must be a way to outwit the witless, but damned if I know how. Ah, hell, I guess I'm better off just finding a fat, a halfling village somewhere to pick on. This dive is all yours. Really? And then he's going to walk into here. I understand. Why do I live in such a pissant town? Um, I apologize and I'm gonna piss off. Like, okay, but yeah, no. I Considering that dust. bracer issue, I wouldn't go stealing random his random magical items. Just saying. I got a pocket full of potions. And there is a house and spites. Give it to me straight. I am prepared.
there we go. Wait, what is wrong with him? Oh, I think he's nauseated, that's right. That's what that symbol means. I shall commit to the task. Okay. Hello, potential friends. This place doesn't look this place looks abandoned. I understand. Silune guides my hand. Like no one's here, so I shall commit to the task. I don't know why I'm justifying my theft, but I am. At least finding the skeleton skull for, you know, buddy who did not survive the encamp his, um, problem. Is Imowen out of arrows? No, she's not good. Even I know, you know, identify stuff before you equip it because it might be cursed. Imagine if I hadn't identified that cursed berserking sword that I'm insisting on Rel carrying around. I have sort of potential in-character plotline reasons for it. Namely, um... The idea that if she gets mad enough, she's going. I'm going to send the rest of the party outside and send her in somewhere alone with the Zerky sword. Because, you know, why not, right? Like, it would very much fit her demeanor to just do that. But I also want to, you know, not send the party in with her because I don't want to cart all their stuff home. Like, having to cart all the stuff of the dead home is frankly a colossal pain in my butt. And I kind of wish I could just like shove it all back into their pockets as essentially a body bag of holding. Alas, I cannot. But boy, would it be nice. I don't remember where I heard that term, actually, body bag of holding, but it's one I actually really do like. How are we looking? Okay. We don't have too much longer of this map, so I'll finish out looking over this map, and then I will end off. Let's go up this way, clear out this area. But yeah, at least it looks like the game actually makes it very easy for you to actually um, get those skulls that you need for the melee camp quest. Because it looks like everything's dropping them.
But yeah, I'm gonna have to keep this guy in mind for buying magical crap from. You know, when I eventually end up with more money than cents. I thought I had more money than I would ever need. And the game's like, nah, here's this 21,000 gold robe that you're going to want. I'm like, really? Really? <sighs> Unfortunately, I kind of wish I had both a neutral and a good mage. Because... Like, then I could just buy one of each of those. I will show you justice. And be, uh, and basically just have nice rubs. My blade will cut you down to I do need to mess with that AI stuff, though. There we go. And... Oh, hey, it's daylight. Oh, hey, it's a skeleton that's going to die. I will show you justice! Okay, that's almost gone. That'll die pretty quickly. And so will that. And yeah, that looks like basically everything. I, I mean, understand. we're gonna go up here. Yeah, nope, nothing there. So we're gonna get our butt back to Baragost. I understand. I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to rest up now while it's on my mind. And then we're going to go back next time, that is, to check out that area I abandoned once I found Melly Camp, because Rel's a freaking cat. She would have wanted to eat the chicken sooner rather than later, and cannibalism is frowned upon by most civilized peoples. I of course, that's assuming she's civilized, but she you pretends it. Anyway... That will be all for tonight. And yeah, recorded for almost 45 minutes. Go me. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. Next time we'll explore more of that area we abandoned. And I will see you all then. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, alright?